good evening and welcome again to St Mary's where in partnership with Frattenbeck Local all week at five o'clock we're thinking about bringing light to our community. Normally this time of year we'd have our festival of lights with a great procession down Fratton Road and much music dancing and celebrating unfortunately this year that's not possible so each day we've got a member of our local community coming in to share some thoughts with us and then each night we'll be presenting you with a different way of celebrating with us and tonight is a video which we'll explain more of later on. But tonight it's great to welcome Judy Crook. Judy is another partner on Fratton Big Local uh, and she's also the manager of Fratton Community Centre in Trafalgar Place. So Julie. Thank you. Good evening. Good. Good to see you. So the first question, which I know you know, oh. <laughs> is um, in the last few months what have been the real struggles? What have been the moments of darkness and despair? Well Bob's laughing because he gave me a bit of a heads up on the questions and so I prepared <laughs> some of my answers because I've got a bit of, um, bit of a thing, yeah. bit of a reputation for <laughs> burbling on a bit, so I thought I'd drop, drop down a few notes. So I'm sorry if it seems very scripted, but maybe Bob will interject. I'll, I'll, you wouldn't dream of it. Would I it? wouldn't maybe. dream of. I would never <laughs> interrupt you. <Julie. laughs> um, so the, the darkness part of it really. That's, is, one, that's um, where we started. This is where we started. This is where we come in. The constantly changing rules around COVID is really difficult for us to adapt to in the community centre. We have a lot of high risk visitors such as Frat and Friends, which consists mainly of the elderly and some more vulnerable in there as well, Victory Hants and Pathways. And the safety of our visitors and staff is paramount for us all at the community centre. So trying to find safe ways to deliver what we are allowed to deliver has been really difficult. So we've been unable to provide the full range of things that we normally do. Lots of people know that we do lots of sports and activities there. And we have lots of groups, for example, the Youth Club and the youth club hasn't run since COVID, the, the initial COVID shutdown, um, partly because of guidelines and partly because they've chosen not to come in as well because they cannot run safely. A active communities have continued to run groups when they can, but it's very difficult and the stop start makes it very difficult for us and for people to know when we're on or whether they should come in, etc. Um, we know that all these sessions are a vital part in contributing to the overall well-being of the community so it just adds a different aspect to their lives which we know they all need and the lack of activity in the building for myself and the trustees is really heartbreaking I consider myself to be lucky I'm working but I really miss all our visitors and sitting in there and I expect you're the same Bob in here yep. you sit here sometimes look we're, we're stood here now looking at all the empty chairs yep. And it is really heartbreaking, but we know it's worse for those people than it is for us. Yeah. And we know that a lot of people are sat at home on their own. And I know in conversations we've had throughout the time that, that people don't sometimes realise the stress that the managers are under. Because you are bombarded with this bit of regulation that suddenly changes to that bit of regulation. That's right. And you've got to be the one that tries to then interpret it for your local context. Exactly. It's been yeah, a real, it's very a real, very real struggle. Yeah. And um, so Boris said that you can go to the gym but Boris didn't, or Boris said that the community centre can open, but he didn't say you can't play football, you can't do basketball, and all the different things that you cannot do. But some groups can do those things, so it's, really it is stressful. quite, yeah, 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 it's very stressful. However, in, However, the, midst of, in the midst of the darkness However, and all the stress and the frustration, there has been some joy and Some light. joy. There's, we always find joy, don't we? We always find, as you know, Bob, I like a laugh, and I like, you know, but, so I do miss that with the lack of people coming yeah. in, because we've, we've quite big on banter in there but the positive actions that we've received to some of our TikToks when we initially closed down there was a group of us and we got together and did a few TikToks I really tested the patience of Josh when I was trying to get the dance routine Facebook emails and we also telephoned people as well but it's not the same as physically seeing people uh, but I've had a lady who rang me this week and said that she'd been thinking of me and thought oh dear <laughs> but she said what she was thinking about of all the things that I usually organise at Christmas and last year I had everybody making paper chains anyone who came to can you make some paper chains in the cafe can you sit there and make some paper chains dance mums bunny warren pathways every group I asked to make some paper chains for us and we literally covered the ceiling in paper chains which was really nice and previously we've done pom, -pom poms so yep. she said she'd wondered what I was, would have done this year I didn't let on because we're safe that till next year. <laughs> and also Phoenix Dance are there most days yeah. in our in our centre. You have seen them at the Fratton Family Festival. They've performed in here. 
and each time that we've had the lockdown has been stopped and they can come back in, the little dancers have come skipping in, smiling, <laughs> chirpy waves and hellos. And it's great. The abs it's an absolute joy to see them when they come back, as is anybody who comes back. A lot of what we do is really simple. It's just what we do is simple. We don't do anything particularly special in there, I don't think. But I know that we play a huge part in brightening up people's lives. Just with a cheery smile and a listening ear. A smile. A smile. A smile. Absolutely. And then looking forward, that's 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 where we are. But what's the hopes for Franklin Centre and you looking looking into twenty twenty one? Looking into 2021, I'm confident that our community is strong enough to pull together and get, get through COVID. Um, our trustees, myself and our staff, we've got a great team there, are looking forward to a new year where the centre will continue to play its sort of pivotal role, we like to think, in bringing people together again. Uh, we may have had a huge setback um, with the coronavirus, but we are on standby. We're ready to go and we're ready to welcome our friends back to make some more happy memories. Excellent. Now, Julie's already mentioned TikTok and she's obviously TikTok. come... She's come. She's not going to do one now, don't <laughs> worry. She's, she's coming her Christmas best. It's a challenge. So she's going to tell us before we start the film what her favourite Christmas music is. Wow. I can't wait. Well, well Bob, <laughs> you know... I'm not dancing to it. So Bob knows that <laughs> I, also, I also work at St Cuthbert Centre. And every year we have the Christmas tree festival, which I adore, and I'm invited Bob to sing there. Especially brave, aren't once they? a year, they are very great. <laughs> once a year only, I'm allowed to perform, perform at now? the Christmas tree festival, and people attend <laughs> to see if I've improved. And generally, I haven't. But I love the more popular songs: "Rocking Around the Christmas Tree," "Jingle Bell Rock," "Santa Claus is Coming to Town," "Cheery and Uplifting" at the start of December with the Christmas tree festival. And even if I'm annoying everybody's ears, we are raising a bit of money as well. Great. So, so what's the favourite? You, you listed favorite, three. But, oh, You've got to pick one. To I, t I did say to Anna, who is our um, fat and big local co-ordinator, worker, um, that could I say that it was the Sex Pistols and Who Killed Bambi? <laughs> it was worth it for Bob's reaction. <laughs> so I said it. You said Josh it. wanted me to sing Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Well, so thank you very much. Job. We're running out of time now. We're running out of time. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so, so thanks, Julie. I'm going to leave you. you. I'm going to leave you to introduce tonight's uh, Lighting Up of Fratton. Right. Tonight, I'd like to introduce to you a film from the Festival of Light from 2017. Enjoy. Thank you. And that film will be loaded up onto Facebook any minute now. You can follow the link and enjoy remembering what the early Festival of Lights were like. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. <laughs>